Hello, angels. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are on day three of the Monster High Create a Sim series. I've been having so much fun sharing this with you guys. Sorry, there was a little weird hair there. Um, and in my last video, we created Cleo Denial. And today we're going to be creating Draculaura. Um, she's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and read you guys her description per usual. So yeah, if you guys are curious about um, any of the characters um backstory i understand that a lot of people don't even know what monster high is it's kind of definitely a very niche you know it's it's the people who like dolls <laughs> which you know a lot of people who play sims do like dolls or at least grew up on dolls and that's why we play sims and like to dress up little virtual dolls um it's fine i probably just need therapy but it's okay <laughs> create a sim is my therapy um so yes like i said we are going to be creating draculaura um, she is obviously the daughter of Dracula. So it says Dracula, Dracula, Draculaura is a bright, ambitious, and scary optimistic. And not just for a vampire, for a monster. She was raised by her dotting father Dracula, and he could be tote strict. <laughs> Some of these words I stumble on. Like who writes out, who writes out totes? Anyway. But they always had fun, especially when he taught her to fly. She maintained a cheerful outlook on <laughs> on life. Is that of life? Get it? The unlife because they're monsters. Together, but alone, they lived in a mansion on a hill overlooking Nomi Town. Normie? Normie Town, which I'm guessing is like us. We're the normies. <laughs> Draculaura loved her father, but really wanted friends her own age. Well, not her age, since she's you know 1599 years old but friends who were um age adjacent so she talked her scholarly father into opening a school for other monsters isn't that a fantastic idea told you she was bright and ambitious so i actually didn't even know this but i guess draculaura's family is the start of Monster High. You know, Cleo walks around like she's queen of the school, but in the long run, at the end of the day, Draculaura, she's the start of it all. If she didn't ask her father to be in a place with kids, with, well, monsters adjacent to her age, <laughs> then she would not, there would not be a Monster High, would there? Anyway, that's some cool facts. Her favorite food, well, she's a vegan, um, she, she says, no icky blood for me, so fruits, vegetables, and lots of iron supplements. She says her favorite activity is she loves smiling, laughing, and encouraging my friends. So she's just kind of like a very uppity, she loves pink, obviously that's why I'm, you know, wearing pink. And she's got a little pigtail, so I decided to do pigtails. I'm excited to share Draculaura with you guys. I hope that you're excited too. This is actually probably one of the most requested characters. Um, so I'm excited to share and I hope I do a good job. All of the CC today can be found in the description. I actually recreated, so I did a recolor of Mandy Sims Momo hair um, and specifically just for Draculaura, there's no other swatches. It's just kind of simple and easy, um, but I just felt like it fit, it fit her. <laughs> I couldn't find pigtails with the right kind of like highlights and streaks. So I decided to kind of make my own. And then I also did make her little heart cheek thing that she has. I would say it's a tattoo, but who knows? Maybe she just literally draws it on every day. <laughs> okay guys, let's get on with the video. I will meet you right here at the very end. So stay tuned, stick around and enjoy.
I hope that you guys enjoyed Draculaura. Let me know what you think of her in the comments below. Are you gonna download? And who are you excited to see next? Or who do you think is gonna be the next character we recreate? Give a big thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on that little bell so you know when I post next. And I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you next time.